So how long did it take you to acquire all this stuff? 10 or 15 years probably. I, eBay constantly. I lived on eBay trying to find stuff. graffiti where from different countries. Uh, John Tate talks about the big fight and uh, things from, from South Africa. I have amateur boxing that included him or the, the solving the muddled heavyweight picture. Who's, who's the real heavyweight? Howard Cosell and Big John Tate. What are his chances against Larry Holmes? And just magazine after magazine, story after story of uh, fights, Bernard Taylor, Wigan, let me go, let's get back some more John Tate stuff. Uh, ah, things like, um, this is a sign by Big John and Bob Arum, and this was a, a postcard that went out and John was on the stamp. Um, this was a Knoxville lifestyle in 1980 about Big John. Um, uh, Madison Square Garden, amateurs. Uh, Sugar Ray, Leon, and I think John Tate was on the card also. Uh, let's see what else we got. Sports Illustrated. Let's see. This is kind of funny. Uh, no, that's not it. Let's see. Hold on a minute. This, uh, programs from different fights. Battle Old Smoky. And then uh, um, got a uh, Southern uh, Heavyweight uh, from that one. I got the Tate Cozia. I don't think he ever fought Leon Shaw. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure they ever they ever fought. All of these were fun with his fights. Yeah, Evander. Minus uh, one picture. Let's see. Yeah, little Cookie Wallace from TV Guide. Cookie Wallace. Uh, ah, fight from the. Ticket from the fight, then a ticket from uh, Dwayne Bobbick fight. This was a somebody did a character of John Tate in 1980. Not sure if it's good or bad. Anything with John Tate, if I see it, I, I bid on it. A couple more. This is for the heck of it because I actually used to wear this shirt. 